The Jupiverse is expanding and Jupiter Lend is the latest product to add to the Jupiter Exchange ecosystem. And in this video, we'll provide you with a step by step beginner's guide on how to use Jupiter Lend. So before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's dive straight into it. Now, to kickstart our journey, my friends, we wanted to share this incredible and exciting exclusive campaign of which is running until the 28th of September, where you can land yourselves up to $18,000 just by signing up and trading with Mexi. If this is something for you, then guys, we'll leave it in the description down below. But for us, let's now move on to Jupiter Lent. And for those who don't know, Jupiter Lend is a platform of which is live on the Jupiter Exchange. The Jupiter Exchange is an ecosystem of products within the Solana network, which we've covered many times on our YouTube channel. If you would like a full Jupiter Exchange tutorial, then you can check that out on our YouTube channel and we'll leave that in the description down below. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on the newly launched Jupiter Lend product. And the first step is we are going to need to ensure that we have ourselves a Solana wallet that could be Phantom, it could be Soulflare, or it could very well be through your MetaMask. If you have that already, then we can continue with the next step, which is to get ourselves logged in. In the top right corner, I'm going to do exactly that. You could use the Jupyter Mobile Wallet, of which we've got a tutorial as well. If you haven't, you can check that out in the description down below. But for us, we're going to be using the Phantom Wallet in this video. Now, you can see I'm already logged in, my friends, and directly we are here on the swapping section. But up the top, we want to head over to the lending section. And this is where we're going to be able to lend out or borrow cryptocurrencies in order to earn, or obviously get more assets in order to use within the ecosystem of Solana. So first step, guys, is to take a little look, see which assets are available. So you can see USDC, Solana, USDT, EURC, USDG, and USDS. These are all the currencies of which are available on Jupiter Lend right now. And whether or not you're looking to lend or borrow, you can do anything with these cryptocurrencies. Now, some of which have got better APYs than others, and some of which may be more volatile. But you can see the top ones, such as USD and Solana, they actually offer users incredible APYs just by lending out their crypto. So whether or not you have an asset in mind, guys, we're just going to pick out a few as a tutorial. First of all, we've got a few sections of which we can check out. But for now, let's just stick with the earning section, which is by lending out your crypto. So for those who are looking to lend, if you had, for example, Solana as your asset in mind, we're going to very simply select Solana. And here you can see the total APY, your total earnings, your total deposited, the Vault TVL, the layer total, and of course, depositing and withdrawing. So whether or not you've already got assets in this pool, you can withdraw if you have them already. If not, what we're going to do is we're very simply going to choose an amount that we want to deposit in order to lend out on Jupiter Lend. So, for example, if I wanted to lend out 0.08 Solana, I could do so. And that would be roughly $16 worth and I'd be earning 4.46% on top of my Solana tokens. Guys, this is way better than a bank, so it's already a good start. But let's just say as a tutorial, we did roughly $9 worth of Solana. All it's going to do is take a couple clicks. So here you can see that by providing Solana, we're going to receive JW Souls. Once you're happy, you confirm it. And as you can see, we are already lending out our Solana tokens to earn passive income. Next step, if, for example, you wanted to do a stablecoin, which has more yield to offer, such as this USDC one, which has 8.42%, here by lending out USDC, you can see that you can earn 4.04% from the lending APY and an extra bonus 4.37% for the USDC rewards. Absolutely remarkable. So from here, as you can see, we've got zero USDC and you can't just add any if you haven't got any USDC. And therefore, if you needed to get some, we're going to head over to the swapping section. We're now going to toggle what other token that we want to sell from up top. I'm just going to choose my Solana token to swap. I'm now just going to choose a few tokens just to get into USDC as a tutorial. So let's just say we did around seven dollars. I'm going to get seven dollars worth of USDC. It literally takes two seconds. So now I'm going to go back over to the lending section. I'm now going to head over to USDC, which is right at the top. You can see the TVL vault of which has two hundred and seventy eight million dollars ready. Guys, that is phenomenal for a platform which has just launched. So I'm going to do every single one of my seven dollars and ten cents. I'm now going to deposit it and we are now earning roughly eight point four one percent APY, which is variable. Bear in mind on our assets. Now, please bear in mind, guys, that by lending out or borrowing cryptocurrencies, there are risks and you must always conduct your own research. Never invest in anything that you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. And like I said, always do your own research. So we've officially lent out two different assets. We've lent out USDC and we've lent out Solana. And you can see that we're projected to earn $1 every single year from the minimal amount that we've just lent out. To be honest with you guys, for $16 that we've just deposited, earning ourselves $1, that is not bad whatsoever. And the more that we deposit, of course, the more that we'll earn. 
So it depends on your budget and depends on what your targets are. However, you know how to lend out cryptocurrencies and you can repeat this process with any single asset. Like I showed you earlier, if you would like to withdraw at any given time, you choose your asset. You can see here that we've got the withdraw option. You can very simply choose an amount, hit that withdraw button, and your tokens go back directly into your wallet. Very easy. Next step. For those who are looking to borrow cryptocurrencies on Solana, we're going to head over to this borrow section up top, if of course you want to do this. Down below, you can see all of the positions. So you can borrow against your assets by selecting a vault. How it works. Borrow lets you take a loan out against your crypto. Vaults are isolated, meaning there is one vault for each supply and borrow token pair. Your deposits will immediately start earning yield and you'll pay interest for borrowing. And note, part of your collateral may be liquidated if your loan reaches the liquidation threshold. So, down below, guys, if you see all the vaults, you can very simply choose ones that you like, some of which have a supply rate of which are healthy, and some of which have a borrow rate which are healthy and has a big difference of which you can leverage from. However, you can see down below, guys, that some of these may have a negative threshold. So, for example, this CBBTC has a supply APY of 0%, yet has a borrow rate of 5.2%, and yet I don't know why anyone would want to do that. However, you can see here, guys, that there are some positive ones. So, for example, this JLP to USDC has a supply rate of 17.6% and a borrow rate of 5.2%, meaning there is profit to be made there. However, you must proceed with caution, guys, because borrowing cryptocurrencies is extremely risky and you must always do your own research. You must use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable and never invest in anything you can't afford to lose. However, if, for example, this JLP to USDC one was one that you wanted to do, first of all, you're going to need to be able to deposit JLP. So first, you're going to need to head over to the swapping section and you're going to get yourself some JLP. So all I'm going to do is find myself JLP, which we can see right here. I'm now going to choose a minuscule amount just as a tutorial. This is going to be around $5 worth just to show you. Next, all we're going to do is we're going to very simply head back over to the lending section. We're going to go back over to the borrowing section. We're now going to scroll down, find JLP to USDC. Here you can see my tokens, which as you can see, I'm going to deposit all. After that, once you're ready, you can very simply hit deposit and boom, as you can see, we can confirm. So transaction successful. The next step, now that you've deposited your JLP as collateral, you can very simply borrow your USDC token. So if you wanted to do this, guys, as you can see, you can borrow as much as you like. But of course, the more that you borrow, the riskier it is. And it shows you that in the status section. Honestly, if you wanted to do this, guys, it's entirely up to you. But because I'm not much of the borrower, it's not something that I like to do. And therefore, if you did want to do this, you know how to borrow cryptocurrencies, utilizing other cryptocurrencies as a collateral. However, we're now going to head over to the multiply section. And this, guys, is for the DGENs out there who are looking to leverage their yield in order to maximize the most earnings possible. However, Guys, this is extremely risky and this is not recommended for anyone that is brand new and basically not recommended unless, of course, this is something that you really want to do. Remember, we are not financial advisors. So if, for example, guys, we're just going to show you a tutorial on how this works. Multiply enables you to create a leveraged or looped position. So here, Multiply enables you to easily leverage exposure and amplify yields on your assets. When you open a position, assets are borrowed against your collateral and converted back into the collateral asset until your desired leverage is achieved. But note, Multiply also increases liquidation risk, meaning that you can lose it all. So guys, please bear in mind that this is very, very risky and not for any beginners. So. Down below, guys, you're going to see that we've got a few options of which we can provide. You can see JLP to USDC. If, for example, you wanted to earn 5.27x multiplier with an APY of 70.49%, you can very simply do so. But remember, there are risks when participating. However, if, for example, I wanted to multiply this 0.97 JLP, you can see here, guys, that with 1x leverage, you can see the final APY on the right-hand side. But if I was to increase the leverage, you can see the final APY is increased. But of course, the risk is increased. However, if, for example, I did the 5.27x, you can see it's very risky. However, the more I slide it to the left, the less riskier it becomes. Now, if I did, for example, 2.34x leverage, that is still 34.13 APY, and it is in the safe section. Now, of course, it could change at any given time and become very risky or even liquidate. But of course, the less leverage, the better, and the higher leverage, the riskier it is. But for example, guys, let's just say I kept it somewhere in the middle of the safe spot. We can earn up to 40% APY, keep it safe, we can keep an eye on it, and boom, all you need to do is multiply. So if you wanted to do this, guys, that's exactly how you do it. 
Now, you can finally see that I've multiplied my JLP tokens. However, guys, we now need to keep a strict eye on this because we don't want it to get liquidated. And therefore, all you need to do is keep an eye on the manage section, keep an eye on the safety section to see your position health. If it gets into the very risky side, it's probably best to withdraw it. But we'll leave that down to you because we are not financial advisors and you must always conduct your own research. So once you're ever ready to withdraw your assets of which you can see here that we've multiplied, we're going to head over to the multiply section and you can see your positions will come up. So if you select that guys, all you want to do is very simply head to the unwind option here. All you're going to do is very simply choose the 100% option or whatever it is and you're just going to unwind it and therefore it will come straight back into your wallet. Now of course you may lose some fees on the way guys but in a nutshell if you were to leave it there you would of course earn more yield as you can see we were earning 40% APY which is not a small amount. Now guys we've shown you how to lend, we've shown you how to borrow, we've shown you how to multiply. If at any time you want to check out anything else on the Jupiter Exchange you can check out our tutorial or very simply just go ahead and explore yourself because they have everything that you would ever need on the Solana ecosystem. Now, friends, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out Credible Mexi campaign, of which is only live until the 28th of September. If you have any requests whatsoever, let us know in the comment section down below. And friends, we'll see you in the next video.